Okay, so guys, um, in this very short lecture, I want to show us how to save our user information to a local storage and we want to use our shared preferences for this particular purpose. And the reason is because at some point, we may need to have access to this user information when we don't have network, right? Okay, so I'm going to just show us how to save our user information to um, our shared preferences. Of course, later on in the app, we will be making very good use of it, all right? So to do that, I'm going just to create a function. Like I said, I like to keep things pretty organized and clean. So I'm going to create a new method and call it save, save to shared preference, shared preference, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define so I'm going to define an instance of shared preferences, okay? So to, to do that, I say I shared preferences, pref, preferences, preferences, equal to application dot contest dot get shared preferences. I call this user info file creation mode should be private. So the next thing is we're gonna create a new I share preference editor, alright? So I say I share pre preferences editor. So this is the instance we're going to be using to be writing data to our um, shared preferences, okay? So this instance is what we are going to be using to write data okay to our local storage so i'm going to call that editor okay so our editor will be equal to preferences dot edit okay so we are ready to start writing information to our editor so in the end we save the information to our local storage all right, so how to do that is we're going to say editor.put string. So you can save other, you know, can save other variable types aside from string. All right, as you can see, you can see boolean, float, integer, long, and the rest. So, but now we're interested in string. Okay, you know, that are saved in shared preferences are saved in a key value format. Okay. So we're going to provide the key of for our email. We we'll call it email. We're going to we we'll call it email as the key, and this key is very important because that's what we'll be using to retrieve the data whenever we want it. So what we want to save here, the value for the email will be our email address that the user provided. Editor dot put string. Okay, so call this full name and we want to assign the value of full name to it. So the last one is editor.put string. I'm going to save our phone number, of course, to this, right? So we're going to put our full, our full name. So editor.put string. The key should be full name. Because the value will be the value of our full name, the full name that the user provided when he or she was signed, registering to the app. The string, the last one will be the phone number. Okay. Phone. All right. So after you're done writing your data to the preference editor, you want to have to add this command editor.apply. This will save your information this information you provided to your local storage all right so guys to retrieve this data is very simple though we might not be able to test this out now in case we want to know how to do this right, right away but eventually you know later on on the app i'll be showing us how to do that but to retrieve this data is very simple guys so let me just um show us how to do that so i'll just create a new method and call it retrieve data retrieve data okay so here to retrieve my email address string email I'm gonna have to say 
I'm going to have to define these shared preferences as a local, as a global variable, right? So that it can be accessible from anywhere in the, within my registration activity, okay? So this is just to show us how to, you know, retrieve data from shared preferences. Though we'll get deeper with that later, you know, in the app. The next thing I want to do is to start retrieving the values. And to be able to do that, we need to know the keys of the value that we want to retrieve. As you can see, the key here is email. So we can use this key to retrieve the value of our email. And to do that, I can go ahead and say string email equal to preferences dot get string, right? Because we know that what we save there is a string. So now we have to provide the key, the string key, which is email. And paraventure, there is, there is no value saved there. What should be the default value? I want it to be an empty string, right? So guys, this is just how simple it is to retrieve data that are saved to the shared preferences. This is just how simple it is to retrieve data from it. And this is how simple it is to write data to it. So guys, this is just a quick, you know, this is just a quick class in between. So that we'll just have this knowledge because we'll be using it later on in the in the in the class. So guys, see you in the next class.